I'm going to attempt to take some digital photographs with my iPhone and turn them into 3D photographs. I'm going to click on my camera mode on the iPhone. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to take a series of four pictures moving from left to right. One, two, three, four. There you go. Easy as that. Okay, well, I took the pictures. Now I'm ready to convert them from 2D pictures to 3D pictures. Okay, let's see. First thing we're going to do, uh, since I already took them from my iPhone over to the computer, put them in a folder, and the folder is called 3D to B. What I did was I took a series of pictures, left the left eye version first. And we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's, a total, it's going to be a total of five 3D pictures. All right, now I'm going to launch the application. There it is, Stereo Photo Maker. Okay, let's open a left and right image. And 3D to B. Okay, let's start out with some I just shot earlier with my iPhone, looking at my little contraption outside. And what I'll do is I'll double, I'll click both of them. There you go. You open. Now there they are. There's the left image and there's the right image. Taken with my iPhone. All I did was took this picture, move to the right a few inches, and took the second picture. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Adjust, Auto Alignment. You can also hit Alternate A. It does is uh, the program uses a clever algorithm, makes the best fit between the images. Now to view it in 3D, I'm going to select stereo and interlaced 3D DLP TV. And the reason I'm using that is because I'm using a Samsung UN40C7000 and the television is in checkerboard mode. But I failed to show how to do that. Okay, what I have is a computer hooked through HDMI to the HDMI 1 input of this television. Let me show you. It's in checkerboard mode right now. So I'm going to turn it off so you see how to turn it on. Okay, I'm going to, right now it's in normal mode. I'm going to put 3D and push OK. That brings up a series of uh, possibilities which is more than you get with virtually any other brand of television. Most televisions only give you this, this, and this. These will not be available, which is why I insist on using Samsung. That's the mode you want, checkerboard mode. Okay. Now we're in checkerboard mode. Okay, now I'm going to select 3D DLP TV, which is checkerboard mode. Now I'm going to put my 3D glasses on, and voila! It's now in 3D. Uh, let's see. Let me make it a little bit bigger here. Drag the window out. Uh -huh. You can see that the phase was reversed, so I'm hitting the X key, which reverses the phase. Reverses the left and right image. So this looks actually pretty good. That's not bad. And now what I'm going to do, you can zoom it up, move it around, all while I'm observing it in 3D. Now what I'm going to do is select File, Save MPO File, Alt-S, does the same thing. And I'm going to save it in the same directory for the moment, and I'm going to call it, uh, oh, I don't know, we'll call it R2D3. Save it. Okay, there it is. Uh, there are many ways to display these. Uh, pictures on this computer, uh, on this TV. My favorite method is to use a program called Stereoscopic Player, which I have down here. And let me show you what you can do with this. Let me just shrink this down a little bit. Okay, I'll uh, just uh, let's see, where is directory? We need to be. Okay, uh, that's the wrong one, that's JVC. Okay, 
Where's the directory? 3D to D. Okay, this one. Let's reduce this down on somewhat. Okay. Where's the file I just created? There it is. Let's take that and drag it in there in the stereoscopic player. Yeah, there it is. Uh, one thing you notice right away is that the quality of the picture is better. Now, what this, what's cool is I'm watching, this is in 3D and this is also in 3D. And either one can be watched any, in any size window, anywhere on the screen, or full screen just by double clicking it. There you go. Yeah, actually it looks pretty good just for using an iPhone <laughs> taking two pictures. Not bad. Uh, you can see the quality of the video here, although it's nice in that you can scale it and move it around. The quality is not quite as good as this. Oh, it's not bad. Uh, another th cool thing you can do is let me go ahead and make another one. Uh, let's see. The pictures I took earlier of the witch on the broom. Uh, let's see. Let's find those. Oh, there we go. 1259. And let's see. Uh, 1260. Open. Uh huh. See, I didn't have to do anything. It's automatically in 3D. Although it doesn't look too good. Uh, zoomed in. Okay, let's uh, push X. Yeah, now the phase is correct. And she's pointing her out at me. <laughs> pointing the fruit stick out at me. I'm going to do adjust, auto alignment. Let's do its thing. Oh, yeah, it looks better. Although the quality of the picture is not that great because of the lighting, the way I took it. I like to save that as an MPO file. And we'll call it, uh, hmm, I don't know, which. R2D3 and which. One of the nice things you can do with the stereoscopic player, let me just close that, is you can make a slideshow. So you can drag everything in a folder, MPO files if you want. I'll take both of these we just created and drag them into the stereoscopic player, and we have a slideshow. There she is, there's the witch. Let's look at her full screen. Uh huh. Not bad. And there's the first one I took. Okay. So. Into this works pretty well, huh?